Hello, welcome back everyone. I hope you're all keeping well. For those who are new around here, my name's Punky and welcome in. So, last episode, what were we doing? We were building this mahusive mega central hub. It's going to basically be the central sort of workings of our mega base, which is going to be sitting on this lake. Now, we managed to get the walls built and also the staircase built here. And we also managed to get the four different partition walls up and running as well for where the bits and pieces are going to be happening in this uh, central hub. Now, just in case, if you've forgotten, so these bits here are going to be for the yachty bays where they're going to be producing eggs. And then these bits at the back are going to be for making or for basically for breeding, sorry. And that's pretty much in a nutshell what that's going to be. But off camera, I have changed a few bits and pieces um, due to the feedback from last episode. So what basically the bits and pieces I've changed is basically the beams and also I've changed this wall as well. If you remember or if you haven't seen last episode, we basically had these as logged on the inside and then planed wood on the outside. So now we've got them on both sides, which is looking really clean and fresh and it looks quite awesome. I'm not going to lie. I have missed a beam there though, so I'm going to need to fill, uh, fill that in. And I think there's a missing floor around here somewhere, which I'm going to have to fill in later. But yes, without digressing too much on that, if you are sort of building at home and you're wondering sort of the scale of this, so this is a 12-sided or basically a dodecagon, and it's basically eight wide on each side of this shape or this polygon. So that's pretty much in a nutshell how big this is. And yes, I'm probably going to be saying nutshell a lot, but nay mine. Um, off camera as well, I've got this uh, the walkway here put in as well, which we can't really see it now because it's starting to get a bit dark. But we've got this walkway here that's basically going to then lead down to a central bit here, which is going to house where the Quetzals are going to be sitting in this central hub. Also off camera, I have basically extended this walkway all the way over to there, just so we've got access with our dinos and we can come backwards and forwards with bits and pieces that we need to craft and build this up and also the other projects along the way it's going to be sort of off branching from this central hub now i have to say if you are building at home and you sort of seen last episode and you have built all this this bit here is just basically a one wide staircase that goes up and then it goes to two wide and yes there's a bit missing there because of this this tool here gets me into trouble quite a bit, deleting stuff. And then it comes to a three, oh, sorry, four wide walkway there that's sort of angled, as you can see. Just need to put the beams on that section now, unless I have done it. Have I done it? I think I have done it. Yes, I've done it. Cool. So, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on there. And. I've also been prattling about with the roofs, trying to figure out which roof I prefer. So I think I'm going to go with the shallow. I think that looks a lot better because it's not as aggressive. As you can see that it goes all the way up to there. I much prefer to have it a lot more shallower. I think that looks really, really cool. If not, please let me know otherwise and I can change it. But I think to be honest, a shallow roof would be better for this project. Uh, anything else oh yes also i've been prattling about with sort of structural uh integrity because i didn't like how these just come all the way down i want to try and join them to the wall like this i'm unsure how many i should have. i think i should basically do one skip then another one skip another one and so on and so forth just to get to this bit here and then just having beams here just coming down like that to provide the structural integrity so to speak I think that would look like a hell of a lot better than just sort of having it with uh, a lot of beams coming down because I think that sort of draws your eye away from it a little bit, if you know what I mean. And it's just sort of looks a bit sort of a bit messy, a bit messy, I think we'll call it. So yeah, anything else we need to add to this? Um, not that I'm aware of. So. That being said, let's cue the music and let's get this started. Oh yes, I just want to point out as well for anyone who is watching these episodes. Basically, um, these are going to be painted at a later stage, so please bear with us. Uh, this will look absolutely awesome when it's finally painted, and that way, sort of a lot of this is going to be broken up with sort of painting. 
that way it's not going to just be all one wood color and that's it because that would look pretty boring and dull so it will be painted in the future and also again with this i think we're going to go with the scoot roofs as well just for that so without me waffling too much let's get into the building side of it and let's get the roof and let's get the windows put in because that's probably all we're going to have time for today so let's cue the music and let's get on with this Okay, a little quick disclaimer before going into the build and queuing the music. I just want to point out that the reason sort of why I do this is basically if you're following along at home, you can sort of watch and you can sort of uh, see what's going on. If you're sort of wanting to incorporate into your own world and follow along, then this is sort of like the perfect opportunity to sort of have a little look to see what's going on. And it's pretty straightforward about the little bits and pieces that are going in there, like heights and where the windows are and stuff like that. So yeah. And also I like to add in a bit of music just so in case you uh, have seen this video or that you just sort of want to see the end result. The music is there just so you can sort of have a bit of a chill out session, do what you need to do, then you can come in at the end when we start talking again. But yeah, let's cue the music and let's get on with the building and I hope you enjoy. See you in a mo.
Ooh, oh, this is definitely coming along. This is definitely coming along. It's looking absolutely magnificent right now. Can't wait to get this all finished off. But at the moment, I've got to basically wrap up the episode because this is took an absolute age to do. Roughly roundabouts, the time we've spent on this is probably about four days. That's including crafting and basically getting all the bits and pieces sorted that we're going to be needing. And then also building the actual bits and pieces itself. I know it might not seem a lot, but it does take a lot of time to do. Now, we're going to start off with this bit here because... Uh, we're going to do like little sections and talk about each bit. So inside here, it's pretty basic at the moment. Um, we've got the windows in and we've got the roof. So let's just have a quick look at the roof because I want your guys' opinion on that. So currently we've gone with the shallow roof. And I must say at the moment, it's looking really, really nice. Just need to finish it all off with its uh, details. That's pretty much what is missing from the side bits right now. It's just the little details. And then also I'm thinking about adding in some windows here as well. Just going up there. And then also on this side as well. Now, in here, I'm probably going to be raising it up by half a tile. So it's going to be probably... Sort of, uh, I'm going to have blocks on me. Uh, damn it. But yeah, it's probably going to be about half of this thing here. Just so uh, that's where the yutties are going to stand on. That's where they're going to be producing the eggs. And then also, if you remember, if you've seen the hatchery video, which if you stay tuned till the end, you'll see a link to that how to build a hatchery. It's a two-parter, unfortunately, because it is... You know, even though it was smaller than this, it was still a big build. So I do apologize. But yes. And we also need to try and find something to add some accents into that top bit there as well. But yeah, this is going to be raised up. And the diners will sit on there. And probably might have the rear ends over here. So we can walk down the middle and pick it up. But yes... Welcome to future me, because past me has been a bit of a plonker again. And thank you very much, Mammoth. So, what I was saying about the hatch rebuild is basically we're going to have the breeding on the front sections and the Hyotis are going to be on the back sections. Um, basically, we're going to be copying the design for the hatchery for the breeding areas, which is going to be over there, which is going to be filled with um, eventually air conditioners and stuff like that to basically do the breeding in these two front sections here. But yes... Back to pass me again. Let's go into the middle and let's have a little discussion about what we've done in here. So again, pretty much it's the same thing as what we've done. It's just a windows and roof. Currently, we've got these windows in right now. Um, probably might mix them up a little bit. Not entirely sure. But uh, we've got this. In fact, I'll need your opinions on something in a minute. So that's sort of like what I was thinking. Um, sorry, I've got a million things in my head at the moment. <laughs> but yes. We've got this uh, partial roof here, so what's going to happen is this is sort of going to be like a little walkway or a little walkway that goes around the top of it so we can gain access to the top. And then it's going to be capped off with another roof in the center. This is why I've sort of done this outline here. And we're missing a beam in that corner. That's going to need solving. Um, yes. I wonder why it was only 11 and not 12. Um, but right, yes, uh, without getting distracted too much, like I said, we've done the windows, uh, partial windows now, just waiting for the little details in there. We're just sort of trying to punch in where the windows are going to go. And that way we've got more of a visual, visual representation of what's going to go on. And then, like I said, this is going to be you know, the walkway, and then there's going to be access for the Quetzals as well to come down to its landing platform, which is going to be going from here to here. And it's going to be sort of this circle bit here is going to be down here so we can probably get two or three quetzals sitting on there depending on how many we feel like getting so what i need your opinions on is let's go over here shortly just quickly yes so here i've done two sets of windows instead of one and i just thought i want your opinions on this what do you prefer do you prefer the double windows like this and then they're going to be sort of custom built with like the rails like we usually do um, if you've got any other suggestions for Windows, please let me know. That'd be cracking. I'll have a look to see if there's anything else I can have a look at and draw inspiration from. At the moment, I think I'm pretty much happy just going with the, the rails up and top or top and bottom of this uh, beam. And that's going to be sort of like our custom windows. So yes, one or two. One or two. So if you can let me know in the comment section below, that would be absolutely marvellous. And also over here as well, again, just to reiterate about these support girders. Do you like it like this? I think this is something that we should, we should uh, go ahead with and 
uh, do with the rest of them. So this would be exactly the same as that, uh, that sorry. And it's gonna be using that as a support girder for these stairs and going up around over there. I think that looks pretty nice to be honest. I think that looks pretty smart. So yeah, again, let me know your thoughts and opinions on that in the comment section below. That'd be absolutely marvelous. Right, what else have we got going on here? Let's go up to the top. Let's just sort of show you that top view of there. So let's grab the Argent and let's go up. Yeah, up here, as you can see, we've got the, the walkway, which is partly built right now. What I was thinking is adding some rails on the outside and then having the roof coming over and then probably having some beams going up to that roof. I'm not entirely sure how big I want the overhang though. So again, if you can let me know, that'd be absolutely marvelous. I think I might do three and then do... Yeah, yeah, I think that'll probably look quite nice, like three overhangs, but on the shallow overhangs. Because unfortunately, uh, even though these are ceiling tiles here, we can't use scoot like here because it would have been nice if we could just use scoot up to about here or something and then have like a rail here and then having the roof that then comes over and overhangs on that. Unfortunately, I think what's going to have to happen for this bit in the center is we're going to have to stick with this and have that there. But what we might do is actually change if we now we can't actually change these ones. We've got to go for the originals. So we might need to do that. We might need to go for the originals. But yes. Here, like I said, it's going to be access for the Quetzals to come in and down, and then they're going to be sitting on their platform just here, which is obviously going to be connected by that one and that one over there. So yeah, on that, I think it's probably wise to end the episode, so I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Take care, and goodbye.